Hey everyone, in the news this week, it's getting pretty cold out there. The other evening I found myself shaking more than Rudy Giuliani's accountant. And the Deputy First Minister of Scotland, Shona Lewis, apologised to people who've had to wait too long for an ambulance. Personally, I wouldn't waste your time, Shona. They're mostly dead now, thanks to you lot. Christmas cards from the royal family are out. William and Kate decided to go for a vaguely tasteful black and white one, whereas Harry and Meghan went for a black and ginger one. They also went for a colour photo because black and white things are racist and oppressive, and of course offered the politically correct greeting of Happy Holiday Season, with a reference directly above the photo of the two of their ongoing grifts, just in case anybody not being taken to court wants to transfer some money nonetheless. There's also a new Doctor Who actor, and the thousand or so people that still actually watch that woke fest are very excited because it's an LGBT actor and he's also Rwandan. This comes a few weeks after they portrayed Sir Isaac Newton as being Asian and recently recast Davros as being able to walk around with the production outfit openly going on record as saying they didn't want to depict someone disabled portrayed as a baddie. Frankly, I always thought that Davros was a pretty decent aspirational role model. I mean, the guy nearly took over the whole galaxy on several occasions in spite of his disabilities, as compared to the disabled people in the show that hang around with the Doctor and largely do nothing while they wait on him or her to do all the work and save the day. I mean, I could go on, but at this stage, the stuff largely writes itself. It's rather sad when you think about how the show used to pull in close to 11 million viewers. That's why it used to be a national institution rather than an irrelevance. On the other hand, this new actor playing the Doctor is probably the only Rwandan likely to see any illegal aliens in the next year. Anyway, Merry Christmas to all. My local takeaway is doing a Christmas menu with reindeer kebabs, so I'm going to go and order a donner. And in other Christmas years, I've got one of those Amy Winehouse Christmas trees. It's eventually going to die and leave needles all over the place. Whereas one of my friends has got one of the Wilco Christmas trees. It's got a lot of branches missing compared to last year, and the ones that are left have an awful lot of plastic junk. Anyway, probably last of these until the new year. See you then. If you like these, click subscribe.